Hello, this is lesson 13, exploring rectangles with equal areas. So now that we've learned sort of what a meter squared is and a centimeter squared and how to find the area of those things, we are going to uh, focus on being given one area and finding all the different ways that we could build a rectangle using that area. Okay, and so in order to uh, start this lesson, we've got an explore this time. And so it says, you will need 24 colored tiles. Each tile represents one meter squared. So there, I didn't grab them for the video, but they're about yay big, okay? You could also use centimeters squared if those are readily available. Now what you need to do is, um, Mrs. Granger is planning a rectangular patio in front of the school. The patio will have an area of 24 meters squared. No, this isn't true. <clears throat> what you need to do is number one, use the tiles to, f oh, that should say find all the possible rectangles that Mrs. Granger can make. And then two, draw a model of each rectangle on the grid paper below. So draw the rectangles on this grid paper. Now I'm gonna get you to do this by yourself and see how many you can find. And then I'm gonna play the video and show you all the possible video. I guess you're gonna play the video and I'll show you all the possible rectangles. So pause the video right now. All right, so let's see our possibilities. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That doesn't let us go all the way across. Uh, we're gonna have to zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's see if we, uh, there's not gonna be 24 down in it either. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So one of the models that you could have made, but I didn't give you enough space on here, was a uh, one by 24. So that would be, I'm just gonna draw a model right here. It would be a long skinny thing, even skinnier because it's so long and it would be one here and 24 here. But I didn't give you space, so that's okay if you didn't get that one. Okay, another one you could do is two by 12. So here's two, and then we count across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And it's always good to label your rectangles. So this is two and this is 12. Okay, next up we can do a three because three times eight is 24. So, get a better marker here. I can go down one, two, three, and then I'm gonna go across eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I label this is three and this is eight. Now let's think, can I do four? Yep, four times six. So then I go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Label, four and six. Oh, and this is gonna be meters, so I need to make sure that I put meters on all of these. All right, now I've got it correct. And the next number, so I've, I've done one, there's two, there's three, there's four, now I think five. Can I multiply anything by five to get 24? No, I can't because five times five is 25, so that's too much. Okay, so all the, the, the total possible rectangles that Mrs. Granger could make is four. Uh, this one's more of a sidewalk, and then we've got these three with those dimensions. Now you'll notice what I did. I started at one, then I went two, then three, then four, and so on. Um, I know to stop after five because if I get to six, I've already got six here. And if I did six down and four across, that's exactly the same thing. Okay, so I've got four. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four. I don't have five. I have six. Seven doesn't work. Eight works. Nine, ten, eleven don't work, and twelve works. So if you just go with these lower numbers, it'll be the easiest way. But let's look at that on the other page. So you. Uh, turn the page and I'll scoot over and get that up. Okay, so as I was saying, um, 
it says, when drawing all possible rectangles of a particular area, you can think of two numbers that when multiplied will equal the given area. So um, I drew a visual here. So we've got a number times a number equals area. Okay, um, next point is the two numbers that you multiply will be the length and the width of the rectangle like I was showing you. Okay, and then the last point is when finding all possible dimensions of a given area, begin with finding one times something equals the area, then two times something equals the area, and three times something, and so on. Um, and, but you have to note that not all numbers will work. Just like five didn't work um, on the other page, other numbers might not, two might not work sometimes, three might not work. Uh, one thing that always, always works is one though. One times the area itself will always equal the area. Like one times 15 equals 15, and 15 would be the area. Okay, so um, let's see, do this example together. It says find all possible rectangles with area six centimeters squared. So I started you off with this. And so we've got one times something equals six. So one times six equals six. Okay, so then we can draw the six centimeters squared. That's a one by six, so we've got one. And then we go across. There's three, four, five, six. And we try to draw it as straight as possible. Sometimes it's hard to do that on the whiteboard. And then we label one by six. And these are centimeters. I can tell by right there. So I write my centimeters in there. Okay, now I've got one, now I'm going to two. So two times what equals six? Two times three equals six. So I can draw that. I've got two down and three across. Oops, that's not very good. Two and three, and those are both centimeters. Okay, so notice how I fixed it when I made a mistake. That's what I expect you to do if you make a mistake. Okay, and then next would be, we've got one, two, three. Well, we don't really need to do three because it's right here. So that tells me that I'm done. So there are two possible rectangles for six and they are right there. Okay, so there's a practice and you're gonna have to try with 16 centimeters squared. So you try, you pause the video and try to find all the possible rectangles for 16 meters squared. No, wait, that's centimeters squared. Um, and then play the video again to see if you got them all. Um, I made sure this one could fit 16. I was thinking ahead for this one. So we're going to go uh, 1 times 16. I'll write it up here. We've got 1 times 16. So this is 1. And we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. I even got extra room. So we could have a 1 by 16 centimeter. Next one, we could do two, because two times eight equals 16. So I'll do another one. There's two, and then two, four, six, eight. And down. Okay, let's think, can we do three? Three times four is 12. Three times five is 15. Nope, 15 is too close to 16, won't work. So no three. How about four? Four times something equals 16? Yes, four times four equals 16. So I can go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And I label. Now the special thing about squares is once you find one, you know you're done, as long as you follow the process of one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, so because I've got four, and then four, and then it wouldn't be five, five won't work because um, now we're going backwards again. So we've got the numbers that are multiples of 16, is basically what you're finding, are one, two, four, and eight, and 16. Okay, so these are the possible ones. There's three of them. 